Hey guys, what's up? Last time we were able to increase our test coverage to 91%. Now I want us to go ahead and add ability to report this coverage to GitHub. So if you're not clear with what I'm saying, I want us to be able to come and add a badge that contains how much of our code we have been we have tested. This can be important in a way that when you're working with someone and they are trying to bring in changes, GitHub can at an early stage tell them about how they have code that's untested. And it can help the people who are going to review the work to tell them that they need to improve that test coverage. So we are going to use a service called CloudPodCov. In the original one, I used one called Coveros. But here, we are going to just jump in this and do it together and see how we can add that. Part. Come to CloudCov.io and log in with GitHub or so using GitHub. Let's just log in with GitHub. Then click on your profile name. It's going to take you to a page where you can see a list of your application so click add new when you click add new we can see here they are like pro tip just navigate to where you see your repo and if i can just come here to our app just move here so i want to copy out this name and follow their pro tip so here if i can just do slash the name then it brings us to a page where we can find the project then we have this install the, the app on github so let's click install now then click configure allow the organizations or the accounts you want let's install it on our main account because that's where our project is Then confirm your password and it's going to install that believe me or not that's all we need to do now let's go back to our code and do some more setup so i'm going to just go to another branch i'm going to call it setup setup the setup coverage code coverage reporting okay so now we are going to install code curve locally ppm install code curve that's their, their python package so install code curve once that is done you need to go to the travis yml file because we need to also tell travis that we need to report that coverage so here we are going to run this script using coverage just like we are doing locally actually it would be a very great idea just use what we have here so just this script here just going to copy it out oh, I can't copy so we just need to run coverage run dash dash source then here we put in a list of directories that we want to correct coverage from so of course we want to correct from authentication if you add more you do this and then you add your other stuff but since we have one we can just move with that then we run manage the py then we also want to run coverage reports so coverage report so this is fine we actually don't need the html because we are in the ci environment so also we want to check when this has finished running and there is a config that we add and that comes in a block for after success so after success we run code cov yeah so remember to add a new line here so now that we've added code cov remember our line now we can commit these changes and see what we have so git add dot git commit minus m okay let's say yes h test added coverage reporting and let's push upstream origin this okay so we need to create a pull request added coverage reporting okay let's just give it a title and create a pull request what this will do we'll basically run the tests with coverage and then run codecov so codecov will know that it needs to send the coverage reports to cover us so if we come back to codecov here let's just do with our app we reload here so this okay we have already created the pr we take a look at it and see that it has an x meaning uh, we have a problem so now if something like this happens then you can know 
that you need there's something you need to actually go and look out for so just click on details this way just to come and reload this so reload then we can read through what the matter is so it's saying module authentication was never imported okay meaning we have an issue to check correctly we want to make sure that the command we run locally is the same command that we run we run on on travis so let's just rerun it it works then i want to copy i wonder why i can't copy from this terminal but then probably it's a mistake that we have so coverage run dash dash source equals authentication managed py test and coverage report okay so let's see what the issue is okay so now we can copy it then let's refer re let's replace ours and let's make sure this is in order so also i want us to get the badge so if we go to code curve then we go to our username then using the other pro tip you can navigate to our app which will be copy here so our app will be here so we need to come to settings then click on badge and then copy out the markdown so if we go to our readme file we can add it here so one of the things to note here is that it is reading the coverage on this branch which is our base branch for project setup that we earlier worked on so meaning we might not have this badge might have to update when we have these changes in this branch yeah so now let's just do a simple git add commit git add git commit similar things git push and now we already have a pr so let's see how it will behave so if we come back it's going to rebuild it so in code curve we actually want it to build that report on this pr we can go and change the branch that we are looking at so if i could copy that branch name and come back to code curve so if you go to settings okay i need to actually go to general then change the default branch to this and click update that will need us to have another change that is added here so you can see the branch passes here which is good but for it now to build <coughs> a report or a preview we need to have another change added to added to the, to the code such that it can re-trigger cover rows so yeah so if we need to do something like that i'm going to come and leave an empty line and that will make a change so let's add and commit it so now that we change the branch notice that it's actually giving us a preview of the code curve report but what we see now is it it has no coverage approved for pull request base so it has no coverage uploaded for pull request base so pull request base basically is a branch to which we are merging into and previously our project setup branch does not have code curve setup and that's why we see this but when we merge all our new changes will have to take effect but then we can see that we have this coverage here meaning that now we can go ahead and merge these changes when they pass here and we move on from there you can see that all tests all the checks have passed and see that code curve is telling us the coverage was not affected so this happens when the coverage you're bringing in does not match what is there before or it decreases it it, it actually gives you an x and tells you you need to actually fix these things so let's go ahead and merge it because we believe we have enough coverage and we can prove it by that tick so save it so once we merge we need to come and change our branch again okay update it so in we can see that travis basically does all that also runs the command to send those those reports then it tells you to upload it to s3 and then code curve picks that up good once we do this now we can get, come back to our repo okay just find it real quick we can see that code curve is now reading our coverage thank you guys for watching if you're new here i want to urge you to like and subscribe and turn the notification bell icon on so that you get 
new notifications when we have new videos posted on this channel because i promise you are going to be doing that a lot i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching